Hello, son of God, and my brother, welcome to your awakening. This is the part 68 in the series, The Dispelling of the Illusion, The Undoing of the Old, for the freedom of the sunset, for the prime creator of light in my father. And uh, today's teaching, today's idea is, love holds no grievances, practice stillness, practice awareness of presence, let go and be, put all your attention to the noticer, to that part of your mind that didn't change at all since the moment of your birth in time, since since you enter time in the time dimension, this is you, everything else, the good and the bad thoughts, the images, and the body and whatever you see with the body, it's all outside you, it's a dream you dream, but you are there and inwards. This is your consciousness, the split mind that on, always only experiences and take actions and you are inwards. Inwards. If you invest inwards, you're gonna remember who you are. Holy son of God. Give this thought into your mind. Love holds no grievances. You were created by love like itself. You who were created by love like itself can hold no grievances and know yourself. To hold a grievance is to forget who you are. To hold a grievance is to see yourself as a body. To hold a grievance is to let the ego rule your mind and to condemn the body to death. Perhaps you do not yet fully realize just what holding grievances does to your mind. It seems to split you off from your source and make you unlike him. It makes you believe that he is like what you think you have become, for no one conceive of his creator as unlike himself. Shut off from yourself, which remain aware of its likeness to its creator, your true self, shut off from your true self, which remains aware of its likeness to its creator, your true self seems asleep. While the part of your mind that weave, weaves illusions in its sleep appears to be awake, to be awake. Can all this arise from holding grievances? Oh yes, for he who holds grievances denies he was created by love and his creator has become fearful to him in his dream of hate. Who can dream of hatred and not fear God? It is as sure that those who hold grievances will redefine God in their own image, as it is certain that God created them like himself and defined them as part of him. It is as sure that those who hold grievances will suffer guilt, as it is certain that those who forgive will find peace. It is as sure that those who hold grievances will forget who they are, as it is certain that those who forgive will remember. Would you not be willing to relinquish? Would you not would you not be willing to relinquish your grievances if you believed all this way so I mean, it is as sure that those who hold grievances will suffer guilt, as it is certain that those who forgive will find peace. It is as true that those who hold grievances will forget who they are, as it is certain that those who forgive will remember. Would you not be willing to relinquish your grievances if you believed all this way so? Perhaps you do not think you can let your grievances go. That, however, is simply a matter of motivation. Today we will try to find out how you would feel without them. If you succeed even by ever so little, there will never be a problem in motivation ever again. Begin today's extended practice period by searching your mind for those against whom you hold what you regard as major grievances. Some of these will be quite easy to find. Then 
think of a seemingly minor grievances you hold against those you like and even think even think you love. It will quickly become apparent that there is no one against whom you do not cherish grievances of some sort. This has left you alone in all the universe, in your perception of yourself, determined now to see all these people as friends. Say to them all, think of each one, in turn as you do, I would see you as my friend, that I may remember you are part of me and come to know myself. I will see you as a friend, that I may remember you are part of me and come to know myself. Spend the remainder of the practice period trying to think of yourself as completely as at peace with everyone and everything, safe in a world that protects you and loves you and that you love in return. Try to feel safety surround you. Try to feel safety surrounding you, hovering over you and holding you up. Try to believe however briefly that nothing can harm you in any way. At the end of the practice period, tell yourself, love holds no grievances. When I let all my grievances go, I will know I'm perfectly safe. I repeat, spend the reminder of the of of the brightest period trying to think of yourself as completely at peace with everyone and everything safe in a world that protects you and loves you and that you love in return try to feel safety surrounding you hovering over you and holding you up try to believe however briefly that nothing can hurt you in any way and at the end of the practice period, tell yourself this. Love holds no grievances. When I let all my grievances go, I will know I'm perfectly safe. The short practice period should include a quick application of today's idea in this form. Whenever any thought of grievance arises against anyone physical present or not, give this thought love holds no grievances. Let me not betray my true self. In addition, repeat the idea several times an hour in this form. Love holds no grievances. I would wake to my true self by laying all my grievances aside and wakening in him.